A historical artifact doesn't always need to be specific. While some have deep stories tied to a single individual's life, others have a more cultural significance. One such artifact is a mining thermos found within the Historical and Genealogical Society of Indiana County. The reason the artifact stood out to me was because my pap was a miner and I really enjoyed looking at the thermos with all the stickers on it and I was really curious on what the stickers meant and what they were for. Yeah, and it's, it's one of those things where in a place like Indiana or in Pennsylvania in general, you're going to know someone who has some tie to coal mining. Yeah, it's a big, big mining place or was. Mining has allowed the United States to flourish into the powerhouse it is today, and nowhere is that shown better than in Pennsylvania. Due to its booming steel industry, Pennsylvania coal was vital for building both Western PA and the country as a whole. Being such a vital part of American history, coal mining was sure to generate its own history and culture, one that's both good and bad. It was a very unstable environment. Rocks could fall on you, gases could come up out of nowhere to hurt you. And if, say, you were in a mining town like Ernest, uh, there was an explosion there, killed like a dozen people, and their life wasn't very good. It was honestly just like a incredibly dangerous job, especially with like being in the dark all the time. There was always that sort of fear of not knowing what you were doing, not knowing where you were stepping, and it just... <laughs> a lot of mining was just sort of terrible. Much of mining history is surrounded in infamy. Even the stickers covering the artifact have ties to the dangers of the mines. So, originally, the mining stickers were made for safety reasons. You see it on a lot of the different artifacts, including this one, that there's also reflective tape, like, all around it. You see it on everything in the historical society that has to do with things miners brought into the mines. The stickers were nice for practical reasons, because it'd be kind of hard to lose something, even in the dark, with such translucent stickers on it all the time. So, the companies decided that well, we can add some other things that we can toss on. We can advertise and just, like, toss our logos onto reflective stickers. Uh, so originally it was more in advertising and just being a part of safety than it was anything fun. However, mining stickers are much more than just a reflective surface. They quickly become a large part of mining culture. Yeah, the mining stickers, they ended up just being something the miners enjoyed to do. You know, people just like collecting things. Yeah, they really did enjoy their stickers, and I've read in some articles that they'd actually get jealous of other people having, like, a special sticker from, like, a different country or state that the miners there wouldn't typically be able to get their hands on. It just sort of, it became, in a way, like, in such a dangerous job, it was a very childlike sort of fun, something you wouldn't expect from these, like, big dudes working the most dangerous job in America. What once started as a safety measure slowly became one of the miners' biggest pastimes. Just like kids collecting baseball cards, miners would collect and trade these stickers to their heart's content. Seeing how a culture sort of evolved from such a dangerous activity, it's a part of American history we don't really learn about. You know, you don't hear about a lot of the blue collar stuff because it just sort of happened. It's, it was nice to learn about the stickers the fact that companies would just give them and the fact that these people who are getting down and dirty in the caves and seeing their friends pass and stuff, but they found something good in the bad to use and to enjoy, really. From safety to collecting, mining stickers were a large part of mining culture and history. A history that you won't find in your textbooks, but instead in the research of local historians all across the U.S. It's found in our attics, storage, locked away in our past, and eventually donated to our historical societies, just like with this mining thermos and the story it can tell about our past. Thanks for listening.